The big storm had finally arrived on the island of Sodor. It was so bad the engines had been instructed not to leave their sheds if possible. Rebecca had to take a train to Vickerstown. Oh dear, this weather isn't looking good. Rebecca puffed bravely into the storm. There he is. Maybe just don't say anything yet. That storm is absolutely horrible. Where's Rebecca? She'll be here eventually. We should go to the sheds. Do you think we should check on them? I think they need to sort this out between them. Frankie, we aren't going to move past this without talking about it. You're right, I guess. I guess it started when I first arrived here. There was a diesel who used to make deliveries here, and I let what he said get to me. Frankie, we diesels are the future. I put bad ideas in my head, to say the least. I thought I had a right to imprison Toms and James. Just because... Just because they were steam engines and the enemy. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Gordon, please explain yourself. What are you talking about? Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is this about Rebecca or something? No, it's about Logan. Of course it's about Rebecca. Rebecca isn't ready. Why do you think she isn't ready? Arthur proved you wrong. That was a singular occasion, not regular service. Besides, I accepted Arthur after he proved himself. Well, Rebecca's new. She's going to take a little bit of time to get used to everything. Why don't you just give her a break until then? Because I don't know whether or not she will get used to everything. Of course she will. Why are you so set on defending her anyway? Because she deserves it. Rebecca means well, okay?
Ah, oh, that rain isn't good for my air intake. You and your air intake always causing trouble. Maybe whoever's in that building won't be as infuriating as the engine from the last building I was stuck in. Frankie, I know you've been taught certain things, but it's time to unlearn them. You're right. That's what I'm trying to. But I keep being manipulative and doing the wrong thing without realizing. I could have gotten Theo into trouble. And the worst part is thinking I did it on purpose. Did you do it on purpose? Why are you trying to get him into trouble? Alright, move over, make room. What? No. Wait. Hey, you're that Frankie engine. Why am I not surprised there's still a steam engine here? Not everything is about us. We aren't the sole future of railways, you know. Nonsense. Frankie, I will give you the same advice I gave you all those years ago. You won't survive if you aren't willing to stand up for your own kind. As much as I hate to admit, the diesel revolution won't happen by itself. We need to fight for it. Some engines are never alone. Fine. I admit, I have been a bit harsh on Rebecca. I will try to be a little nicer. Wow, thanks Gordon. What changed your mind? Well, you. No offense or anything, but you're just a tank engine. But yet, you managed to pull the express. Rebecca might have made a few mistakes, but she could surprise you just as much as Arthur. Exactly. Arthur, I have a question. If, if you I don't, don't mind, mind you asking, asking why, why haven't I replaced, replaced LMS with NWR, NWR by now? By now? Yes, I thought you would be wondering that. Here's the story. Before I came to Sodor, I used to work on the LMS. On my first day, I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I had never worked on a railway before. How am I supposed to manage any of this. What am I supposed to do? But then I met this engine. Who? Oh. He never told me his name, but what he did tell me changed my life. Or set it into motion, really. It's not easy. What? Who are you? Never mind about me. I've lived my life. But... Arthur, right? Yes. Well, Arthur, take it from me. Life can be hard, but you know what? What? What I found is that all you can really do is what seems right to you. So, just to do well at my job, I have to do well? Do the best you can. And ever since my first day, I've done just that. I've tried to do the right thing. I never learned the engine's name, but I met him on the LMS. So even after I came to Soda, I kept my old livery. I understand. Arthur, you don't need to keep your LMS livery to remember that engine's advice. No, not at all. I don't think you'll ever forget about him. 
I don't think you'll ever forget to do the right thing. But... Rebecca! Rebecca. I'm back. Rebecca, Gordon has something to say to you. I'm sorry, Rebecca. I've been unfair. I will respect you from now on. So, here's the plan. First, Sunny will go to Bickerstown Yards and grab a train of trucks. Using the bridge over the station tracks, all of us diesels will arrive at Great Worcester and cause as much chaos as possible. Meanwhile, Sunny will be waiting at the top of the hill with the trucks. We demand better treatment from the steam engines. If they accept, we pull off the plan. If they refuse, we sound our horns as a signal and suddenly we the sending them straight It's a full food plan, Diesel. Not quite. We still have one problem. Sir Topham Hat. Harry, Bert, you should create an accident. Then Sir Topham Hat will go sort that out. That's when we strike. How do we do that? Just be yourselves. Hey, we never cause accidents. You're the one who always creates problems. Now it's a foolproof plan. Only if everything goes according to plan.